watched the Jeffrey Epstein Filthy Rich documentary. That was an interesting watch. Um, I'm assuming most people are kind of au fait with the whole Jeffrey Epstein, Jillian Maxwell story and, you know, the entire, the severity of the um, sexual abuse that was going on with minors, uh, trafficking kids through state lines, through country lines, right? Just an incredibly sadistic, sad and brutal story. But what kind of, what really illuminated the story for me and what kind of brought it to light and made me think was that it's, there were so many things so Jeff, there's so many aspects of Jeffrey Epstein's story that are interesting right the idea that he is quite possibly a Mossad agent right um the the possibility that he's being funded by these shady big corporations that are essentially in it to undermine the security of the United States the fact that Jay Maxwell's dad died in unsuspicious circumstances the fact that her sisters twin sisters are you know were selling arms to foreign countries there's some really mad things that to you know associate with the story but at the core of it what was really disappointing was that what you saw was that for however much of a monster jeffrey epstein is was um he was aided and abetted by you know uh, you know, uh, a willfully ignorant, a willfully unaware police force, right, in Florida that essentially turned a blind eye when it was reported to them that he sexually assaulted a couple of girls, two, two sisters at the time, right, early on. And then um, through his connections with powerful figures in politics and, you know, in various fields of business, he was able to evade, really capture or arrest in any meaningful way for a long, 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 long time. And then the most harrowing part of it was the fact that towards, especially when he started to ramp it up, he was essentially helped by the fact that he was, you know, he would make a move on a particular girl. She would reject it and he would then offer them the opportunity to kind of join on as a, I don't know, as a recruitment specialist in terms of getting other women that were or other young girls that were willing to come to his mansion and massage him. And these women who, again, maybe their age, you can excuse them because they were young, but... They were wit they were witnesses and they knew firsthand the kind of monster this guy was. He then offers them an opportunity to recruit their friends and they willfully accept. They accept under the premise that they're gonna be paid two hundred dollars for every person that they bring in. So they're giving an incentive to sort of hire as many people as they can and you know, you only have to imagine that if you're that woman that goes out and hires more girls to then get abused, you're definitely looking for a particular kind of profile, a woman, right? A particular kind of profile of young girl at, a, at that time. You want somebody that probably isn't going to ask too many questions, somebody that probably is in dire straits or in dire straits, right? Needs the money, somebody who's probably family life isn't where it should be. That's the part that really hit me a bit. I was like, bloody hell, man. Like, not only was he able to corrupt people in office, people in politics, people in the police department, he was also able to corrupt young girls' minds so that they could in an instant forget the abuse that they were subjected to that they didn't probably you know accept they didn't probably um they weren't probably up for doing but he was able to corrupt them so much to the extent that they were willing and able to put their friends quote unquote on the firing line that's the bit that really hit me i was like god damn it man what a monster and it's really similar to the stories you hear of serial killers very rarely do you hear a serial killer story where um some level of incompetence wasn't at fault for their long stretches of time where they're going around murdering mad people it's usually some kind of inept police force somebody overlooking something family members being willfully ignorant or friends and family aiding and abetting that person it's very rarely somebody's able to inflict that level of damage on their own there's usually other people that are cooperating with it that's the most painful part of the story and again i think well, after watching the documentary they don't really highlight it too much they sort of like you know give it more of a simple Sympathetic. they're a bit more sympathetic to the idea that these girls were young at the time but i don't know man if somebody comes on to you and you don't are not up for it and it's a really seedy and sadistic environment the last thing you should be doing is putting your friends in the firing line or your siblings even right there's a story of someone recommending their siblings to and them getting abused as well and it's like <clears throat> i don't know how you could live with yourself man it must be a really hard pill to swallow that you are kind of indirectly responsible for the abuse that your friends or your siblings were under and again it's not their fault you know jeffrey epstein was the one he was the monster he was a sadist but 
part of it, you're just like, God damn it, man. God damn it. What did he have over these people that they all kind of turned a blind eye and allowed him to kind of conduct himself in this way? And now, you know, we have the great news that Jelly Maxwell has finally been captured. And um, we're going to see how that story kind of unfolds. Hopefully she doesn't get suicided before her day in court, quote unquote. But God damn it, man. The amount of pain he was able to inflict and the amount of, you know, and that's the, that's the, probably the other part of it that's extremely upsetting, right? He was essentially able to, you know, he, he's, he didn't get away with it because I'm sure he's going to, whatever karma that was best, was due to him is going to follow him into the next life. But he essentially was able to avoid any sort of judicial consequences. He signed over his estate to the Virgin Islands and so none of the... Um, um, so then the accusers could get any money from his estate which is a real scummy move at the end of it as well but you know having him being given the opportunity to kill himself or him being killed in the first place was just such a slap in the face of the victims to go through all of that to essentially put your life on the line to risk your reputation being besmirched in public because for sure you know you, you know Epstein's lawyers would have destroyed those girls you know without any 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 sort of regret or you know sympathy so to see all that kind of go on and happen you're just like god damn it man but again happy justice is being served in some way shape or form obviously all the all the uh, i guess all the blame would then fall on to Jelani maxwell which you know no one's really got any sympathy for her in that regard she's going to bear the brunt of it but it'd be interesting to see what happens next do we get prince andrew does he get extradited to the u.s probably unlikely do other big figures do the dershowitz and stuff get accused are there other people in government who are complicit um the acosta dude who essentially gave epstein a sweetheart deal in the first place in florida does he get pulled up on some sort of quote conspirator charges I'm wondering what happens in everything. Obviously, probably not, I think, because they all got immunity, didn't they, when he first got accused in Florida. But some of the people involved, I think they even had um, images of, like, really well-known models and, you know, socialites that were that were kind of hired as... that were sort of hired by Epstein to bring other girls into the ring. And it's just... Oh, it's sadistic, man. It's sad. But a really well done documentary um again it's probably the perfect length four episodes didn't need to be any longer than that check it out it's on netflix now at the moment it's called jeffrey epstein filthy rich it's a very eye-opening one i recommend you see it before it's gone